So here we are at the uh, at the Fast for Families. At the Fast for Families. Okay. And so so we can just uh, say hello and uh, and tell me who you are and what 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 are you doing here in this tent on the mall? Hi, um, my name is Patrick Carroll and I'm the executive director of the Franciscan Action Network. We are an organization that is a social justice arm of all of the Franciscan families. And we're here at the uh, Fast for Families. We've been here since the beginning. This is our uh, 28th day of fasting. And um, it's a fast for immigration rights. We're fasting to open up hearts of people like John Boehner so that they will support immigration reform. I um, did a seven-day hunger fast, and we're on a water-only hunger fast. So I did a seven-day. I ended mine on Saturday. I did initially a three-day and then a seven-day one. And um, we're going to be fasting. People are going to be fasting and praying until uh, immigration reform happens. I'm Sister Marie Lucy. I'm a Franciscan sister, and I'm on staff with uh, Franciscan Action Network. And I'm director of advocacy, so I've been doing a lot of uh, visits <laughs> to congressional offices with others. You know. So, so you've been leading the uh, the advocacy, and then yes, for Franciscan Action Network. But we have members all around the country. So I've been doing the the visits on the Hill here in D.C. with other organizations. We collaborate with a number of organizations. But our members around the country have also been visiting their congressional offices. So when this fast was announced, which began on November 12th, as Patrick said, we decided that as Franciscans, we really wanted to have a presence in this tent. So we've had somebody in the tent every day uh, since November 12th. Now, I did a shorter fast. I did the two-day water-only fast, and then also I did a, a day last week with Franciscans around the country were also fasting. So, so, so the idea to do to do a fast now. What you're sure. you're fasting for justice for immigrants for That's immigrant right. rights. For, for Is there something in particular? Reform. Yeah. For comprehensive immigration reform. That's right. That's yeah. right. And a number of the people who are fasting are immigrants themselves. Uh -huh. And so when they come into the fasting tent and we're sharing each other's stories, many of them have such painful stories, stories of family separation, story of suffering. And um, so it, this has also been encouragement for them to have people joining them in um, urging that our country. I was, I was just down at the School of the Americas, and oh, before, you? Yes. Um, the day before the event started there at, at Fort Benning, right. uh, a number of us went out to the Stewart Detention Center, oh, which yeah. is where okay. so many detainees, there are so many uh, right. immigration detainees, That's right. and That's right. their families families were with us and, yes. and uh, yes. it was a great solidarity movement. So so tell me about this. So you've got this fast for families and this uh, the tent. Um, what's uh, Tell me about how this came to be. Well, it, it's really a, a coalition of uh, some labor organizations and immigrant rights groups and faith organizations coming together. And so the tent has been here, as I said, since November 12th. So there's a, a tent where the fasters are. Is the faster. And then there's another tent where the staff and media gather, because there's been a good bit of uh, media here. A um, number of visitors, including the president and first lady, they were here. A number of uh, congressional people have been here. And then there's this, we're right now in what they call the community tent. And that's where people come in and um, they visit and they leave pictures and see pictures. So, um, so what what brought you to this particular movement? Well, in I've been involved in work for justice for many years uh, on behalf of my community, 
And we too, we were many years down at the SOA. You said you just came down. So I've been involved for many years in justice activities. And now working with Franciscan Action Network, one of the issues that um, I address, there are others too, but is immigration reform. So I think this was very important. It's a kind of moving it deeper. That That's the idea. Like we do the advocacy, we do the legislation, but to try to move that uh, deeper into ourselves, you know, and call forth, uh, you know, our own spiritual resources sure. to play in this and to be in solidarity with these people that are suffering so much you know, from our immigration. Uh, so, so during the, the time you've been here, Mm -hmm. um, what's what's happened? Well, um, every day, there's <laughs> you're never too sure. Every day, the fasters uh, gather in the morning, and um, they they get the cut of the schedule for the day. And there are different, like some days, there are several different um, reporters here. The media has been here, as I said, a number of visitors have come in and they meet with the the fasters. So every day is a little different. You're never too sure. Uh, yeah, you know what's what's going to happen. So, what kind of response you're doing this here on the mall in front of the Capitol? And you said one of the things you've been doing is visiting members of Congress. Right. What kind of response are you getting from them? Well, as you know, the, the Senate passed a comprehensive bill in June. Uh, the House still has not acted on it, so we really focus especially on members of the House. Um, you know, to to urge them. Uh, to please, and a special focus on Speaker Boehner because he's not bringing a uh, vote forward. Um, we feel that if he would really bring the vote to the floor of the House, that there would be enough votes to pass um, the immigration reform, but that's not happening. So. So, so then, of course, there's Mr. Ryan, who uh, is the uh, is this major spokesperson too, and uh, it is also a member of your faith. That's um, right. Is that having any? Well, so is John Boehner. Any weight with you? I didn't realize that. No. Yes, yeah, he's also a Catholic, and we do when we visit the offices, say for us, of, of uh, members of Congress who are Catholics, we talk about uh, Catholic social teaching. How deep this is. In our um, in our faith and Catholic social teaching, and what they tell us is they want to pass immigration reform. Um, they don't want to accept the Senate bill. They want to bring forward uh, pieces, not comprehensive. But but nothing is happening yet. So we'll see. Maybe this will be what will bring them. So so do you ever have the opportunity to do one of those good old-fashioned Catholic things of shaming them a bit? <laughs> Well, I mean, we're always very respectful, let me say that. I mean, we're firm, you know, we bring that up, and we do talk about, you know, our, our faith. And, and actually, perhaps having this fast, and they're very much aware of what's happening, you know, down here, that perhaps that would shame them a bit, but... It's, it's complicated, the politics. No, yeah, oh, it certainly is. Um, for those of us who have been you know, attempting to speak truth to power for years, it's, it is. And and so I'm, I was I was really pleased to hear that what you're doing and that you were here. And, and then I actually got to uh, to come over to meet you this afternoon. That's great. Um, so this, but your tent is closing down? Yes. Um, it was from November 12th to December 12th. So on December 12th, well, there is going to be a grand uh, kind of closing, uh, almost celebration, I would say, you know, what's been happening here. And then the tent will come down, but the work will not be finished. We will continue the work, but the tent will come down. Yeah. So, um, so you've had people from all many congressional districts. I, I take it, um, members of Congress yes, who have come of out Congress. besides In the fact, president. And uh, last week, when the three core fasters, we called them the core fasters, the one who, where they had fasted for 22 days, 
and um, they really needed uh, medically. There, there's always a medical person in the tent checking everybody, the long-term fasters, every day. And the decision was made they really needed to end their fast. So there was a wonderful event here in the tent when they turned over their fast to others who were going to, you know, pick it up, uh, you know, for, for quite a while. And in fact, one of those who was there to, to pick up and do some fasting was Representative uh, Kennedy, Joe Kennedy. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. But there were a number of people of Congress here on that day. Uh -huh. So, um, so, you know, fasting is, is something that's part of our tradition forever, um, you know, from Isaiah and uh, exactly. and the prophets exactly. Jeremiah yeah. Yeah. and uh, and then of course John the Baptist and Jesus fasting. Right. Exactly. Um, you know you have a picture here of Cesar Chavez right. who uh, who really became made put fasting back on the map, yeah. if you will. Mm -hmm. And and uh, Eliseo Medina, who was the, the the chief person really of the poor fasters, he was, and he was with Chavez. He accompanied Chavez, you know, and uh, was his kind of right hand man for, I guess you would say, uh, for a while. It's been he's been wonderful. Just wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, so is there anything that I haven't asked that you'd like people? I'm, I, I'll tell you one. One of the groups I work with at home is a group that's working with uh, with immigrants and uh, and the need in, in Massachusetts for this piece of legislation for uh, for the legalizing of driver's licenses. Oh yes. And, uh, and we just had a, a meeting last week where our, uh, our some of our state reps and state senators sent representatives. And I'm just curious um, what what you might say of, of words of encouragement to those of us who are working, both the, the, uh, the immigrants who are living in our communities and to those of us who are working with them. Yes. Well, I encourage people, in, because there is work going on in the states around driver's licenses, you know, and, and other, other ways. So I, I really think it's wonderful that people are doing what they can, wherever they can. I mean, we keep knocking on the doors here in Congress, but it, it, it's wonderful when citizens are doing what they can, you know, to uh, to assist and encourage and help these uh, immigrants. I mean, it, we're so conscious that we all are immigrants, you know, um, in this country. Like my grandparents were immigrants, and many of us, their grand, you know, parents, grandparents, etc. And um, that we all came. Here from somewhere else. Well, well, with really. a few exceptions. Except for the American yes, Indians yes. at the museum right, mm -hmm. right across the way. So I think we become more conscious of that, you know, and um, so, like, we, we know that a country has to protect its borders. That's that's not a question. I mean, we don't question that. But um, but our laws right now are so uh, anti-immigrant, and uh, you know, just keep people. It's it's really and it causes untold suffering. And as probably your people at, at home that are working for the driver's licenses know that most of these immigrants are here. They're good people, hardworking people. They want to. Be, they're aspiring Americans, as we say. They want to contribute to the country. So I certainly applaud whatever's happening back in Massachusetts. Yeah. So let me just ask you one other question, if you don't mind. And that is, so on the 12th, you're going to pack up the tent and uh, and stop the uh, the act of lobbying here, or is that going oh, to no, continue? Oh no, no, no. The lobbying will continue. Yeah, yeah. We'll continue to. Um, and in fact. There are um, one of the organizations that I work with, um, the Interfaith Immigration Coalition. We gathered many, many letters uh, for Congress, and we're going to be delivering those um, next week. So we'll be delivering those letters to the offices. Of now, do you have besides Joseph Kennedy and, and and others? I'm sure. Do you have the names of other Congress people who are on your side who are working? to bring about some kind of comprehensive immigration reform. Oh, yes. And a, a number of them are. Well, most of the Democrats are on board. And, um... 
uh, Jeff Denham from California is a Republican who has visited the tent. And there are a couple others. I'm sorry, their names escape me now. But um, And there are Republicans who, who, who say we need to do this, you know, bring it forward. But, uh, I tell you, I'm specifically asking, um, Jim McGovern is my oh, yes. member of Congress, Jim, Jim so uh, McGovern, you know Jim, oh, yeah. and, uh, mm -hmm. and so I'm wondering if one of the things that the people like I and, and the folks will be watching this in, uh, in our local area uh, could do would be to encourage him to, uh, to further this among and, his and colleagues. And I'm sure Jim does. I, I'm not sure. Maybe he's been down to the tent, but I'm not sure, but uh -huh. he's somebody that I know would be very supportive. Yeah. You know, of all yeah. this, so yeah. certainly. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you. And all and right. your sister. Sister Marie, and my last name is Lucy. It sounds like a first name. But yes. Yeah, sister Marie Lucy, and I'm a Franciscan sister. And you're from. <laughs> my community is Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia. Uh huh. And you're yeah. in Philadelphia, or you're in DC? Uh, well, actually, I'm working here now in D.C. with Franciscan Action Network. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Thank you okay. so much for your time. Okay. So you're asking what, David? <laughs> uh, well, we were talking about how people have to participate in democracy because it's so secretive now. They can nominate these torturers and get them approved of. They can put these trade deals that will ruin labor and the environment. Um, but but if you're going to believe in democracy, you have to be informed. You have to. You can't put up with secrecy. Yeah. So well, I'm just saying that with the media and all this, the people are, are concentrating on getting things. It's like they're putting their effort on, on having things and mm -hmm. doing things because that's, I guess they feel they deserve it and they have to, but they're losing this contact with the government. I mean, I, it's like they want that to happen. They want us to stay ignorant. Yeah. Ah, I, I, yeah, I've run into I that. think so. Yeah. I think so. It's better for them. So. But then, then you That's don't have democracy. But ignorance, you don't have democracy because you're no longer a player. You're no longer doing or have a So role. where do you think it should all start? At home? Everywhere. Start with religion. No, start with home. humanity. Well, oh, I know. It's I, yeah. Uh, schools. I think schools. Schools are totally failing. And, and uh, so are the churches a lot. Of yeah. And, uh, real morality. But but here, so what you're saying. But we do have a lot of groups that are faith based here. Yeah, that's They're good. Great. They're great. I mean, hundreds. Here. <laughs> I'm going to say thousands of them have been right. participating. Thousands of them. We would have oh, evangelical good. people here that okay. are actually going. Actually, went today over there to speak to whoever they could about okay, that's immigrant. Really, yeah, so that's, and that's real surprising. Really. Yes. Okay, that's, exactly. that's when it's so, real. Yeah, so. but so so but this whole project is made up of faith-based groups, mm -hmm. of unions, mm -hmm. and and who else? Organizations that are for immigrant immigration reform groups uh -huh. yeah. that have resources or trying to find ways to yeah. to get them to stay or find a way to take care of them in the meantime, all that kind of stuff. All these kind of groups. So so do you think when the tent comes down, the momentum will come down too, or do you think people will continue? To push for immigration reform. That's a reform. good question. I I don't know. I hope so. I think that we've educated a lot of people in the last month about this. So now more people know about it. Which is the beginning. Oh, hey, oh that's yeah. the oh, that's from uh, Together Colorado. Together Colorado. Oh yeah, yeah. Together Colorado. Together Colorado. Yeah. Colorado. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, yeah. Wow. And you're from Arizona. I'm from Arizona. Yeah. I just came supporting because my husband works for SCIU. And three of my children, actually. <laughs> That's what he was saying. Hi, how are you? So your name is? Uh, I'm, I'm DJ Yoon. And, and where do you live? Where are you uh, I'm from Los Angeles. Uh -huh. So you were one of the fasters. Yes, uh, many people uh, fasted and I was one of them, yes. And you fasted for how long? Uh, 22 days. 22 days. And TJ, what, what, was the, uh, what was your intention in fasting? Oh, uh, you know, really, like, we have uh, this moral crisis, you know. Children are being separated from loved ones, you know. Mothers are taken away, being deported by, you know, ICE immigrant agents. 
And this family separation is uh, something I cannot bear anymore and we have to stop. And it happens every day, you know, more than a thousand people are being deported. Families are broken apart. I cannot imagine children going to bed, missing their mom and dad, and asking, you know, mom, when, when is my daddy coming home, you know? That, that's, that's, that cannot be happening in America. So we felt really urgency to, you know, uh, you know, really uh, show our determination this has to be stopped. So we really uh, decide to, you know, fast forward, you know, uh, face and then pray for our hope so we can uh, stop this crisis.